You know, Ben Hogan had such a mystique about him, even after he published uh, articles and books about how he swung the club, there were always those who insisted that Hogan took his biggest secrets to the grave, except of course he told that one guy who's now going to sell it to you. Mike was the same way. He had quite a mystique about him. Did Mike take any secrets to his grave? Well, I think he did. I think he had one big secret that he took to his grave with him, but I don't think that he even realized exactly what he was doing. Because I think he would have shared it in some tape or film or video or another. I don't think he realized the magnitude of the secret that I'm gonna share with you right after this. Hey, this is Steve from HitItLonger.com. As you know, I'm on a journey to hit the ball longer and straighter than ever before, including all the way into the flag, because hitting it long and straight like that is really fun. And I hope you'll join me. Hit the subscribe button, like this video at the end if you got some benefit, and leave a comment down below, especially if you have a question. All right, so the unique elements of Mike Austin's swing are essentially the, the compound pivot and the release. Now the compound pivot has really been covered ad nauseum. I don't think there's too many people out there that don't under, if they don't want to understand how the pivot is made that they can't go out and see the information. But I get the most questions and the most interest in elements of the release because I think most people, they don't exactly understand what Mike was doing with his hands and arms in the downswing. All right, so I'm gonna use this pole um, to demonstrate what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna give you a little bit something new, a new wrinkle on this that's even more powerful than the release that I've shown you before. And if you remember, the wrap around the pole drill means we're gonna pretend there's electric current running for this. We don't wanna to touch it. Draw the club back to the side of the body, 90 degree cock, and then 90 degrees cocked to the right forearm without hitting the elbow or the upper arm on the pole. That was the original wrap around the pole drill. And that, while it looks wacky and you think, well, that's a flip, that's terrible. You'll hook it every time. That's actually worked so well for so many of my students. Hundreds and hundreds of students have picked up 50, 60, 70 yards learning how to do this exercise. And you will too, if it's a drill that you need. Now let's look at the kind of the corollary to that, which I think will really is Mike's secret that he never mentioned. He never realized he was doing this. But here we're gonna change it a little bit. I'm gonna actually put the pole deeper into my backswing. And I actually am gonna pin my arm up against it. So turn the electrical current off. Now what I'm gonna do here is as I throw the club head about the hands, I'm actually going to make, what I'm gonna do is establish the mid hands point as the true fulcrum, which means that as I do this action, the handle is actually going to back up, as well as you'll see my upper left arm will actually back up off the pole. So watch this. Okay. And that backing up motion that I'm doing with the butt of the club and the arm is acting as an accelerator pedal, like a counter, to counter accelerate the club head around the handle and make it pick up not only extra speed, but it will turn upwards and create more of an upwards angle of attack as well. Let me show it to you from one more angle here. See, now I'm gonna walk laterally to my left so the elbow is almost off my right shoulder. Now I've got the club pinned here, I've got my arm pinned here in about two hours across my chest, which is about what it'll be at the top of the swing here. Now you'll see I'm pushing into it. I can't pull the poles there, and the, the pull is the danger. That's the trap. But instead, we're going to do the opposite of a pull, and we're going to kind of pump the club out around like this. Now this is what the motion that would get the club 
to 30 inches past the ball. And of course, at that point, the right forearm starts to cross over the left and you do get the crossover. But all you've got into the ball is this, you've got this 90 degree turn of the left forearm this way, which is supination. You've got the extension of the elbow. And again, notice how the arm and the handle of the club actually back up, kind of almost make my forearms touch, which again propels the club around the hands and has it pick up to a very rapid speed. Now it's this release motion when combined with the Austin pivot. Here's that arm position again, except I'll bow this time. And this is when used with the compound pivot, which would look something like this. This really gives you that look that the arm is still across the pec like that. Um, a look that you would see in a John Daly or even a Lee Trevino and a lot of really powerful ball strikers on the long drive tour, etc. kind of all have that look going where they've kind of got the arm pinned still across the pec. All right, so let me see if I can put a little bit of this feeling and motion um, into the strike. Of course, just as with anything new, it helps to slow it down quite a bit. So you get a little better chance to consciously uh, be the conductor or control the action. So let me give it a shot. We'll take a look at it in slow-mo in a sec. All right, so that was a really well-struck drive. I was pretty happy with the feeling of that and definitely felt like I made a little bit of a change to do this action instead of this action or trying to pull the handle at the ball, I'm actually causing the club to counter and actually move further away from the ball, which of course is countering the head just like that to bring the head around and speed it up a little bit faster. This club has 180 degrees to go, while this has a 90. So this club must go twice as fast as this arm and everybody trying to pull it. You pull it through their left arm, you couldn't hit a bull in the back end with a bass fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm gonna swing this club, but my body's gonna swing my arm. Watch this. One, my body. I'm doing like a differential in the car. I'm turning this radius and all around that point here and they'll pull. All right, so if you're looking to release it better, definitely give my, uh, not the wrap around the pole drill a try. It's a little different drill, isn't it? It's kind of back it up off the pole. I'll have to come up with a better name for it uh, later. But give that drill a try and see if that doesn't pick you up a few more yards, have you launch it higher, get rid of some of your slice, get your back spin down, and overall just have you pick up some yards. Uh, if it comes true, please come back and leave it below in the comments. Hey, thanks so much for watching. And as usual, I will either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.